In this video, I am showing you how to change the settings for your website. Um, these things uh, that I'm going to show you in this video are not necessary. However, uh, it will uh, they will help uh, to keep you organized. And also, when we get to the ADA compliance plugin and also the Favicon, that will help uh, your website a great deal. All right, so you've um, copied a template into Live Websites, and so just uh, navigate there and open that up and then click on Settings. Uh, the name will be the name of the uh, template that you've chosen, so just go on and replace that with the name of the website. And then change the path. Um, here I've just uh, changed it to the Galilee hyphen scholars. It needs to be all lowercase and uh, no spaces. Um, the domain you'll deal with in the next tutorial. Uh, the two things that are left, uh, this one is the favicon, and the favicon is the little symbol up in the tab um, that uh, typically has something to do with your business. So you simply want to get a URL, um, a URL of a favicon. Now this could be from, um, you know, another website that you may have um, or some other uh, storage, uh, online storage uh, place that it's uh, available. Uh, it is also easy just to get it with your uh, media storage here. I'm just going to right click, open in a new tab. And this is your media library where uh, images and etc. are stored, open media library. And you can see here's uh, some images for the uh, for the website and I'm going to go on the relocated ones and I'm just going to grab this image I'm going to right click I'm going to get a link and I'm going to come over here and just paste that link and you're good to go lastly is the uh, script for the ADA compliance plugin now in the uh, written tutorial uh, you've got a, uh, a couple of options. You can go to a company like UserWay and you can sign up for an account, get the script, and uh, add it to your settings. Or you can simply uh, add the image building media UserWay script. This is what we provide with our, um, with our templates. Um, uh, however, once that it was put into your account, uh, this was removed. So you can just put it back in there and you can just copy copy the script and then go to your website and then paste it in. Um, when you're done, just say save and you're good to go. All right, so um, uh, lastly, I want to show you how you can check this. And so I'm just gonna say edit, edit a new page. Once that opens up, we're going to click preview uh, and you see that the apple, the apple is in the favicon right there. And you see down here in the bottom left is the ADA compliance plugin. It uh, doesn't guarantee ADA compliance, but it, um, it helps with ADA compliance. All right, so um, that does it for your settings. And uh, please uh, move forward. And uh, with the next tutorial, we'll be talking uh, about... Um, adding a domain name, a domain to your website. Thanks so much.